हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स इन ट्रिक नंबर 347 आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए मेथड थ्रू विच यू कैन एड नंबर्स ओरली एंड मेंटली विदाउट एक्चुअल लेंदी कैलकुलेशन एंड विदाउट राइटिंग द नंबर्स वन बिलो दी अदर दिस मेथड इज वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स वेर इन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिंप्लीफिकेशन एग्जिस्ट so the students who are preparing for competitions they need to be updated with this method of rearrangement now see we have written here some questions we need to find the sum of these numbers and again the use of base quantities is used in this method of rearrangement because if you add the first two numbers here See the unit digits seven and eight. Seven and eight add up to fifteen. So obviously you will have a number which will have five in the units place. But if you add eight three seven with three six three, just see the unit place seven and three. And seven and three they add up to ten. So you get a number zero in the units place. Now this is what we want. Whenever we have to add numbers, we need base quantities. so we have to assign priority to those numbers whose sum is a base quantity so just see the unit places and pair them up so that you get a zero in the units place by adding these two numbers 8 and 3 11 you get one in the units place by adding these two you get five but by adding these two you get zero in the units place so instead of adding blindly the first two numbers go with the first and the third number now these two numbers they can also be added orally why because first you have to see the number of hundreds in the two numbers which i have marked see here we have 800 and here we have 300 so 1100 and now what we are left with is 37 and 63 now oral addition of two digit numbers is very easy 37 and 63 add up to 100 and what remains is 208 so this is 1200 and this is 208 so your answer for the question is 1408 i'm sure with the practice of 10 minutes you can master this skill and add numbers orally without writing them one below the other which is the traditional method of adding numbers let us have one more example now see in this question 2 plus 3 is 5 but 2 plus 8 is 10 so either you can go with 2 and 8 10 and the second pair is 3 and 7 so 3 and 7 again it adds up to 10 so what am i doing here is i am adding like this and i am adding like this so Go with the hundreds. See, this is nineteen hundred, and this is fifteen hundred. Nineteen plus fifteen is thirty-four, so thirty-four hundred. And what we are left with is sixty-two and thirty-eight, which adds up to hundred. Now see the other pair. Four hundred and six hundred is one thousand. So remaining number fifty-three. And forty-seven. That is also one hundred. So very simple now. Thirty-four, thirty-five, forty-five, forty-six. So you have four thousand six hundred as the sum of these three numbers. Viewers, I must tell you simultaneously that there may be two numbers, three numbers, five numbers, six numbers in the simplification problem, but pairing is very important. the number which are paired are to be added first so another example of this see 853 and 908 and 447 see 3 plus 8 is 11 so you get a 1 in the units place so we will not add these two 8 plus 7 is 15 5 in the units place we are not going to add that and now you can spot very easily 3 and 7 is 10 so we are getting a round figure here So I'll be adding these two numbers. How to add these? Eight plus four, twelve hundred. Fifty-three plus forty-seven is hundred. 
and 908 is the only number which remains. So 13, 1300 plus 900 plus 8. So 2208 is the answer. This is the sum of these three numbers. Let's have one more problem, then we can conclude this trick. See, in this question, we have 3 and 7 here and 7 and 3 here. So we can pair up like that. See, this is 1700 plus this is 100 and 83 and 17. They add up to 100. So this is done. Now look at the second pair. 300 plus 100, 400. And if you see 47 and 53, they add up to 100. Now see adding is very uh, easy now because they are all hundreds. 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. So 2400 is the sum of these quantities. Now purposefully these type of questions are framed in the competitive exams just to check how good you are in pairing numbers, how good you are in saving time during these mental calculations. So just practice these methods and I am sure by a practice of half an hour you will be able to increase your speed of calculation and adding by 10 times. So if you like the video, share it and subscribe the channel.